Okay, in this lesson, I want to explain a smoothing. And in the next lesson, delta mush. It two, those two deformer are similar to other, other but the smoothing is the old, the smoothing deformer, and the delta mush is a very uh, complex and uh, better quality of that smoothing. Uh, those are the deformer most benefit of those deformer are in a rigging system for example i rig that uh, cylinder here and going to the rotation and select that join i'll be explaining rigging system in a separate lessons detail don't worry just you can use it here and if you bend as you can see we have a bending problem for example this is a hand this is a feet we have a bending problem here. One of the benefits of the deformer, the smoothing deformer, is to smoothing that bends. Holding shift and click on a smoothing, but the important is we have a skin for rigging here. You have to drag and click, click and drag it under the skin. The skin, uh, <clears throat> it means that we have to execute first a skin and then a smoothing turn it on or off as you can see it's smoothing whole objects but it's a very bad part of the smoothing it smooths whole object and change our model that's not good i'll be explaining how to solve that <coughs> and as you can see it's a smooth the this angle of bending going to its settings it's initialized everything every when um, uh, anytime that you change the type of the smoothing, you have to set initialize. It means refresh, it means execute the software. This is a strength, as you can see, it's smoothing the object to solve that bending issues. Uh, but we have a lots of interesting type here. Iteration and the stiffness, uh, actually, they're uh, like to each other. Both of them control the strength of the smoothness. I will show you now. But... Uh, I want to explain the relax mode. The relax mode is a simple explanation for that is turning your uh, model to like a cloth simulation. For seeing that I change that bending as you can see it acts like the cloth. I select the cylinder and for better understanding holding alt and give it a subdivision. And as you can see, with the relaxed deformation and subdivision, we can uh, make a cloth in bendings, cloth simulations, bendings, okay? This is a relaxed mode in a smoothing. You can go into the smooth again. If all of the sitting turn off, you have to initialize that. Okay, this is difference between a smoothing and a relax turn the subdivision surface off as you can see uh, if using a smoothing we smooth all of the edges but if you don't want that you can use a stretched a stretch uh, do not bending the edges or whole object but smoothing a little whole object but it's doing a little correction here You have a little correction in that. In a stretch, you can go into the smoothing and in iteration, you can increase the power of the bending there. Or if you want more a smooth object, you can reduce that. Or for better understanding that, go into the smooth, initialize again. Here you can uh, more power of the a smoothness right click to beats and if a stiffness make the object harder and hard or a smooth but they put the stiffness that we can uh, give a map to that for example i want to be the stiffness uh, or a smooth a smoothing just act in this bending you can paint a map and drag it here i'll explain now and okay you can change it with uh, iteration an important part is here field i will explain field in detail when we reach the coroner but 
It's important to know you can use this free call field there to just restrict the effects of the skin uh, smoothing just that bending. As you can see, if you turn turn it off because of the this sphere that uh, strict the effect of the smoothing to this direction to this position, we have just a smoothness that in this bending. Okay, so you can use the free uh, call field here. Don't worry, I'll be explaining in detail then. Another benefit of the smoothing is smoothing, for example, this plane object without without increasing uh, their segments. Okay, if I make it uh, 20, 20 segment here. <clears throat> If you holding Alt and give a subdivision surface, as we can see, we have very smooth object with a subdivided meshes. We have a lot of mesh there. But another benefit of the smoothness, for example, make it editable. <clears throat> Going to uh, loop selection or Select that and make it a table going to polygon and here we have a loop selection select a loop for example here holding control oh holding going to oh so, sorry loop selection going to selection holding control to deselect the selection in a border and I bring them up if you uh, activate subdivision surface it just subdivided and smooths the object in this polygon in this position but if you activate or assign the smooth holding shift select the plane and uh, you can see what happened as you can see we have a very powerful smoothness okay you can see very, very powerful smoothness and the segment of the polygon does not change just add some segment to smooth that position. Okay, you can see the difference between a smoothness, a smoothing and the subdivision surface. If you want to smoothing your object in a mm, very high level, but you don't want to make a segment and subdivisions, you can use a smoothing to that object. But in this example, I want to explain a stiffness. As you can see, we are in a smoothness if you uh, bring as, as, uh, as, as stiffness to the 100 we are uh, going back to our main object but we have a if you increase it if you reduce the number we have more and more smooth I want to paint that a stiffness to that object okay uh Okay, Control Z to back to that plane before that I do that. First, I want to go into point mode, right click and brush, make it the paint and paint the map here. I painting a map. As I said before in a previous lesson, this is a map. The green, red, uh, yellow area means that sitting, that effect that common will be effect 100% in the green area, but not 0% <coughs> in the red area. Okay, I assigned the map on a, it automatically assigned to the uh, object. We can deselect that to uh, bring it back, going to the model mode and holding shift and assigning the smoothness. Oh, before that, I want to go into the surface and uh, another selecting that loop and bring that object at a little high <coughs> like this <coughs> and now want to assigning the smoothing holding shift and if you go into settings we make 100% stiffness it means the smoothing effect does not the smoothing deformer does not affect the whole object but 
I want to set it with this map. Select the map. Uh, going to the smoothness and drag that map to the stiffness map. What happened? It means when we are 100% in stiffness, in a yellow area, it will be effect 100% of that effect. It means we don't have any smoothing effect, but with this slope, we are going to red area. It means we have zero percent of a stiffness it means we have a smooth object here in the red area it means the stiffness with 100 power does not affect here so it makes it smooth as i said before you can use the map paint your map here and just assign the uh, mapping to here okay this is a smoothing and its benefit and its limitation but the most powerful smoothing and Mesh correcting in rigging is Delta Mush. It's very powerful and interesting. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.